Hello there, my name is Ismaus and welcome to your daily Blender daily tip and uh, today I want to show you how to use uh, Bevel weights in Blender 2.8. So what Bevel weights are, uh, they allow you to tell Blender where to have bevels on your model uh, using the bevel modifier. For example, in this model here, we are tra I'm trying to create a sharp edge around this corner here and uh, usually what you would do is to just add more resolution and actually I don't need this edge here. Uh, since I'm, I'm adding, I'm going to be adding a uh, bevel weight. Uh, so usually what you would do is you would just bevel the entire edge using Control B, uh, so that you have uh, two edges or two edge loops on the other side, on on both sides. So uh, this edge here and this edge here to support this edge, uh, so that this edge is sharp. But uh, you can see already we are adding just geometry, a lot of geometry in areas. So. Uh, you can avoid that by using bevel weights. So if you have a bevel modifier, let a bevel modifier, if you add a bevel modifier, you have a few settings. Uh, by default, it will just bevel the entire mesh, uh, beveling every edge. As you can see now, we are seeing fa facets on the entire mesh, even though this is a this is supposed to be a smooth mesh. Uh, what is what what the bevel modifier does is just is it does exactly what we did here by beveling the edge here. Uh, so adding two support loops on the on both sides to make the center loop look sharp. So and you can see uh, the edges that have been added by the bevel. If I turn it off, you can see they, they go away like that. But uh, the default setting just applies that to every edge you have. You have a few other options here uh, under limit method to limit what edges are affected. You can use angle which will, which will uh, instruct Blender to find edges at an angle of 30 or whatever angle you set here and apply a bevel to those areas. Like you can see that uh, our ed edges on these sharp corners are uh, because they, they are above 30, uh, they get a bevel. And if you zoom in closely, you can see that, uh, you can even see this when I reduce the bevel. You can see that. And let me turn on hard, no, hard normals. That makes it more visible. You can see that those corners are getting a bevel. But uh, this is almost random because it's just finding uh, different edges at a different angles. And sometimes you might not want uh, the bevel to be at a certain, uh, some edges to have uh, a bevel even when they, they are above that threshold, that angle threshold. So that's where the bevel weights come in. So right now Blender is just using the angle threshold we are set here. We have set here to add a bevel to those edges, but so we can also use weights. So weights, if you go to edit mode and uh, use Control E, you, you, you will find the option bevel weight. Uh, this is just the feature that lets you set, set what edges get are the bevels by giving it, by giving those edges a weight value. So you can see now, even though this is not, this is supposed to be a rounded corner, I can make it sharp by giving, by selecting those edges around it and uh, giving them a bevel weight. Control E, bevel weight. You can see, I can make that area look sharp. And uh, essentially what it's doing is uh, just adding two edges on both sides of that selected edge. And let me just try it here again. Just add this ring here onto this side. So I'm just going to select this edge loop. Control B to first bevel that. I just want to create that intrusion, that uh, portion uh, before I add a bevel. Because if I just added the bevel here, it would just Control E. It would just make it won't be that visible. So. You can also clear the bevel. I remember this bevel weight works as a as a, a weight value. It is it gives that edge uh, a weight value of from zero to one. So if you hit, if you select the bevel weight, you get this slider, and uh, sliding it closer to the edge will remove the bevel. And you can see the values changing here at the top here. Control E bevel and see how the values are changing up there. So a weight of zero is just no bevel at all and uh, a weight of one gets a full bevel so control e uh, also make sure you have the bevel modifier 
on otherwise it won't work and uh, make sure that the bevel is uh, the limit method is set to weight so that only uh, the, the edges with a bevel weight get the bevel now I also want to first extrude this in control E Alt E, push that in, and you can see how sharp this edge is. Let me just control E, level weight, and you can also just type in a value of one, and uh, that edge should get uh, that value. Let me also select this edge, control E, level weight one. You can see how sharp it's getting you can also try playing with the bevel width to make that that area sharper right now I have the subdivision surface turned on that's why you don't see the result as, as well right, just so we can see the hard surface better I'm going to turn on auto smooth and uh, hard normal so that we can see the sharp areas clearly you can see if I play around with the offset here you can play around with the bevel weight it makes that edge sharp you can also give these inner areas okay this side as well a bevel weight so that the entire crease is sharp something like that now you see it still has that slight curve to it uh, that I don't like so to remove that you just go you just increase the number of segments and uh, it looks it will look extra sharp as you want uh, this is a nice tool for making hard surfaces without adding too much geometry or too much details in different areas so now if we tried using the angle you can see that uh, different areas that we don't want to have a bevel We'll get a bevel you can see this has now a bevel this has now a bevel so bevel weights are a great way to control where you want uh, the bevels to happen i think that's it let me see if there is anything else yeah another thing to note is that uh as i said let me just use a different object here let's use a cube give it a bevel Just select weight, control E, bevel weight. So as I said, at the bevel weight, uh, you can set a, a bevel weight of one to zero or zero to one. Uh, so this is, I've just given this a weight of one. Now let me have, give this a weight of 0.5 so that you can see what's happening. And then this, you can give a weight of less than that. So can see the different weights and uh, this is just a percentage the bevel weight is a percentage of the offset so a bevel weight of one just gets the full value of uh, whatever you set here and uh, bevel weight of 0.5 just gets half the value of this and and so forth so that's the setting there so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial